we're going to go through the basic operation of a Graco FRP chop system. First thing I've done is we've put our pickup tube in our drum of resin, our re circulation line back into our drum of resin. We've filled our catalyst reservoir. We've also filled our solvent tank. And I have an air line connected to the system. Now before I turn the air on, I want to confirm that all my regulators are dialed to zero by turning them counterclockwise. Once I've confirmed all my regulators are turned to zero, I would turn my air supply on. The first thing we want to do is make sure we have solvent flush to the gun. So to do that, I want to turn my regulator to 80 to 100 PSI. Go to my solvent tank. I want to turn the air supply on to my solvent tank. And before I turn the, the ball valve to the on position for my gun, I want to confirm that the solvent flush valve on the gun is in the closed position, which is clockwise. Turn the air supply, solvent supply on to the gun, and I want to confirm that I have solvent flush to the gun. I have good solvent flush to the gun. Now we're going to prime up the system and, and go through how to generate the proper spray pattern. First thing I want to do is make sure that my resin ball valve is in the dispense position. I want to, but I want to make sure my catalyst ball valve is in their circulation position. I'm going to slowly turn my resin pump regulator up to prime up the system. And we're just going to prime it for right now to 20 PSI. Once I have it to 20 PSI, now I need to prime my catalyst pump. I also want to select to make sure I have my proper catalyst percentage. We are going to set the catalyst percentage at 2%. And I want to turn my ball valve on my catalyst pump to the dispense position. To prime the catalyst pump, we want to pull the pin and we want to pump it. We only need to pump it to three to 400 PSI. Once I've got the proper pressure, the three to 400 PSI, I want to repin my catalyst pump. And now we're going to go through proper spray pattern calibration and glass pattern generation.